everybody welcome back to my channel before I start please don't forget to like to subscribe and to hit the notification button my loves a lot of you had requested and I was going to do it anyway a uh, baby bump fashion shoot yes darlings or what you call a lookbook but before I start I wanted to tell you that I'm doing very well my phone is going off <laughs> I'm doing very well and yes it is true your hair and nails grow like wowzer I am so happy especially my hair because it's growing in all the edges I'm so happy it's really growing in and it is very very thick so what I did was that I just trimmed off all the like split ends and I'm just letting it grow as for my nails I can't I had to stop putting on polish for like a half minute because I cut them every week I cut them every week. It is just so amazing <laughs> how your body just changes, I tell you. And of course, <laughs> baby fold. Hi, aunties. How are you? You can see look at my plums. <laughs> what can I say? And little, little baby munch is underneath over there. So, my loves, I will tell you first off, when the opportunity presents itself, I will create a maternity collection for women that are expecting because I found it extremely challenging to find stylish clothes. Everything that I have in this episode, it was not maternity. They were not maternity clothes. I was lucky because I'm kind of tallish, you understand me, longish. So I just wore bigger sizes and that was it. But I feel sorry for those that are out there looking for stylish maternity clothes to go out with, to go out to, for dates, go out during the day, hang out with their friends. It just, it makes you feel excluded. That was the vibe that I got. I didn't feel that way because I know how to work it. But then I think of my other sisters and I think, oh my God, she must be going through a rough pregnancy. She might not be feeling well. She's feeling nauseous. She might have a certain budget and she can't even look nice. You know, it's like piling on other stuff on top of stuff. So I am going to have a maternity collection. When the opportunity presents itself, I will absolutely do that. All right, so first up is one of my absolute favorites. It's a Walford dress and I am so in love with it because it's stretchy, it's elastic. I put it in one of my necessities for my maternity uh, story. I'll put the link of the video down below. And this is my going out dress. It's black, I've got a tummy, I've got boobs. So even if food spills on it, it does not show. <laughs> And I can just wear a beautiful coat, jacket, loungewear on top of it and it's good to go. And I just adore it. The next one is a beautiful periwinkle blue dress. I got this at Marks and Spencer. Marks and Spencer is an old traditional store here in the United Kingdom and you can get everything and anything and they are of the best quality but they are also kind of sort of budget friendly. This was 50 pounds. 
50 pounds would run you maybe $70 or something like that. And I loved the bow in front. I loved the fact that it had a second lapel. Really added femininity to the dress. There was a lot of shift to it. And it's a beautiful church dress. If you're going to church, if you're going to lunch, if you're going to somebody else's baby shower, if you just really want to look cute that day, this works. You can also put a t-shirt underneath. It depends on how you feel because it's got a little bit of like a side boob show or you can wear a colored bra you can wear a black bra white bra whatever but this is such a beautiful spring dress it works and what I did again it wasn't a maternity dress it was just a simple dress and I bought a size up everything fit and it because of the style of the dress it gave me ample space for my growing tummy I lie I'm so sorry that's not true I did get some maternity stuff from naked wardrobe I got a blue a pink and a black dress and this is one of them as a matter of fact Ula bought them for me yes darlings I love this I love the long sleeve I love the fact that it is extremely soft it is double layered so you don't have that kind of sheer look in the back it's very very opaque extremely washable all the stains come out and it's one of those dresses that I just just love this blush pink is everything I got a v-neck I got like a high neck and then I got like a scoop neck different kind of necks in different colors but the pink Pink is my absolute favorite yes I adore it so you guys you can try this again again it's very figure hugging but it's great for those of you that are having babies later on in the year and you're feeling a little bit chilly or you want to wear something in the evening or whatever you want your arms covered this is your girl love her Alrighty, so here we are. This is a simple white t-shirt. It's a simple skirt and I got the two of them from H&M. Love the skirt. It was elastic and it works. If you see my maternity story, I also was wearing an outfit for Max and Spencer, which was a chiffon blouse and elasticated skirt. It just works. I love the pattern of it. I love the red. I love my little red heels. When I'm going for my prenatal appointments, this is how I dress. I like to feel nice. I like to feel feminine. And I dress up and I go for my prenatals. And they're like, oh, for me, you're looking nice today because it's summer. You got your t-shirt and everything. And that is it so guys look for elasticated skirts that way you can buy a size up or two sizes up and it will work for you you don't have to wear heels wear whatever makes you comfortable I like wearing heels but I make sure that they are not too 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 high and this is everything as well
Last but not least is another dress that Ula bought for me from Kors. It's a t-shirt dress. It's an A-line dress and it is perfect. The A-line dress works because it again, it accommodates your tummy. Kitten heels are your friend. They work for you. It gives you a little bit of a height, but it doesn't make you feel wobbly where you're like, oh my God, I can't deal with heels. I have been so, so lucky. I didn't swell and I didn't have any problem with wearing heels and I still wear heels. You know, that's fine with me. This is such a lovely dress. Again, wear it during the day when you're going out with friends, you just want to run errands, you want to go to your prenatals, go and see your midwife, whatever. It's a cute, simple dress that's got pockets and I got this a course. I'm going to put all of the details down below for you guys so that you guys can have access to this if you want to get something like this for yourself or your sister or you know somebody that is expecting. So yes, this is my maternity lookbook. I was so lucky because my mother is Gambian. Uh, for those of you that don't know, my father is Nigerian, my mother is Gambian, and different African countries really do have very, very different African cultures. And I was blessed to wear kaftan after kaftan after kaftan throughout my pregnancy, which I still do now. This is what I wore at home, very big, very A-line and super comfortable. As you can see, I'm wearing one of them now, just here. These are just kaftans. Look, that's it. Different patterns. This is like a red butterfly. And I just drop it down and it's got a zip here, which can zip up or you can zip down. You guys have asked me so many times, where do you get your kaftan? Where do you get your kaftan? Okay, so guess what guys? I am hoping, because I'm just going to have a baby now, but I, it's in the pipeline. I'm going to come out with my collection of kaftans. I think it's that time now where I started to generate some kind of business. I have some sort of following, I hope, I think. And I think that these kaftans are something that everybody is going to enjoy. If you're expecting, you can wear them. If you're at home, you can wear them. If you are plus size, you can wear them. If you are not plus size, you can wear them. They are cotton, they are breathables. You can wash them a million times. They're so pretty, you can wear them out. They work for me every stage of this pregnancy. When I was at home and I could not be bothered, if you guys follow me on Insta Stories, you've seen me wear these multiple times. I've worn them on my flights when I'm going from London to New York. I might wear one or two at the hospital because I don't know how long I'm going to be there. I hope not for long. It's so diverse that I think this is what everybody, everybody is going to love. And I can hear you guys saying, for me, open one so that we can see. So I'm going to open one for you guys. So look, this is a simple kaftan. Just look at how, look at how fun it is. Look at the color, look at the front of it. You scoop your neck through here, your head through here, and that's it. Boys and girls, Boys and girls can wear them. I'll put a picture up of myself and Ula wearing one together, different colors. We wore it, I think, in Moscow, and it was a blue version. So you have stuff like this. Guys can wear them, girls can wear them. I have a lot of them, and you guys ask me, from the ages of 20 to 75, that is my demographic. Am I not blessed? <laughs> All of my sisters. <laughs> Here's another one you know so this is what i'm going to be coming out your me sometime next year 2019 i would have had a new baby barely one years old so give me some time but that is what i want to have in the pipeline
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I will see you in a couple of days. Stay fabulous, my darlings. Tell me what your suggestions are down in the comment section. And like I said, I'm going to put all of the links for you guys below. All right, sending you a big hug. Me too, me too. Bye, aunties. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Who asked you? <laughs>